What is up guys? Welcome to Late Shift. This is an interactive game. Actually someone on Twitter tweeted me asking me to play this and I really enjoy it. Apparently it has really great acting in it and the decisions you make affect how the game plays out. I'm super excited. It has really good ratings as well. So without me knowing too much about it, I'm going to dive straight into it on a new game and we're going to see what this is all about. There we go. Achievement unlocked. Choices matter. Alright, control movie. Um, sound, sounds good. And, and Sony. <laughs> Sony. <laughs> Not the real Sony. Okay. Here we are. Oh, this is London. That's the shard. Okay, this is cool. It's set in London. I didn't know that. Been to the top of there. Put some folk on there. Okay. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow. Endless and meaningful. I know all of these places, it's such a pretty cool. Life's a sinister competition, an endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All win. No matter it's an 80% chance, this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, at this time. Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Just about got away with it. Just about got away with being helpful. I would have done that in real life. I can just try to make these decisions as if this was my real life, I think. But so far, this is cool as hell. Late shift. Shot really well. And the fact that it's live action is cool as anything. Okay. Ooh, that Ferrari. I have that same bag. <laughs> There's two cars out. The rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we will do. Walking in the car park, yeah. Here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. Hey, that's my car. Of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. Ooh. You could keep me in college for over a decade. That I ate. I don't like I ate. Saturated with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys with me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her? Fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. <laughs> Damn the Polish. Go 
Gotta get me studying in. All right. I have no idea where this is going, which is kind of cool. Get some. Not exactly. I'm, I'm sorry about before. You know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. <laughs> Think your boyfriend's an arsehole? <laughs> Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. <laughs> Can I help you with something? I need the keys to the Maserati. Does he stop to rent though? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <sighs> okay. He doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. Hmm. It's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. <sighs> Gonna interrogate. I wanna know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. Fine. I won't. <sighs> Smooth moves. Okay. I made a bet. A stupid bet that I could turn up at this party in Maserati. That was rash. What's the bet for? A grand. A grand? <sighs> a hundred of it is yours if you let me have those keys. That sounds like a good deal. But I think we're gonna hustle. Okay. In cash tonight. I'm good for it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Easy to handy. This is this is interesting. This is mad interesting. What? No more fast cars tonight, all right? Turn around. Slowly. Get over it. Ha. Stop it. Smile. Don't get in the car. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're gonna do. Damn. The I-8, it's gonna run out of battery. <laughs> How would you run? <laughs> I'm playing it safe. I wonder if you can actually get killed playing this if you make the wrong decision. No idea. This is really well shot. So the chance of taking a bullet is less than 21. So 
worth a try. No way. Might as well play Russian roulette. One in five, nah. Fifteen feet onto the concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place. Kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Who the hell's going to drive it? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage oh, no. the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. They have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr. Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice bowl? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. We need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get all of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. Look, I... I don't know who you guys are, or what you're up to, okay? I'm not gonna say anything to anyone. Well, it's not gonna take you long to figure it out, is it? Well, no, not if you keep talking in front of me, it won't. It'll be on the news, smart ass. I'm not a murderer, I don't intend to start now. Pass me different oxen and a couple of cable ties. Different oxen? What the fuck is that? Gets rid of headaches like you. Hold still, making things worse. <laughs> Your headache's gonna start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there, he may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with a valet key. A valet key? What the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. Not great for a getaway car, is it? Well, why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face? Is this fucking right about the key? It puts a block on the electrics. We can sort it. No, you can't. You can't do it without triggering the immobilizer. But I can. Well, you can. Certainly can. Not so just bought yourself a ticket and bought this operation. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You best not fuck this up. Okay, let's get set. What do I get in return? No, what's your lock? Five grand for a lock in the car. And as of tonight, I'm out of a job. So I want a full share. There is no share. I'm taking his risk. So I want his share. Fuck off. Shut up, idiot. I'll be worth the money. Okay, I'll tell you what. You two split 50-50. That's the deal. Done. You can't do this. It's done. You're joking. We'll find you something. <laughs> Oops, just became a criminal. <laughs> I said I was gonna play this out how I usually would, but I was also trying to survive. <laughs> so what do I do next? Do I go along with this and then try and turn them in? Or do I keep my mouth shut and take the money? Tower Bridge. Buy some pancreas. Difficult choices. So much for the quiet night. I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already. I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back. We're here to stop them getting it back. You're gonna close the door of your car? Oh, okay. What do they have to get? Like, they could've got any car. Not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. 
Why do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Who's fooling themselves now? A crime's still a crime. <laughs> Big up the moral high ground. Welcome to Hainsworth. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. Nine fifty to my left. Do I hear nine sixty? Fair warning. And selling. Nine fifty once. Nine fifty twice. So for nine hundred fifty thousand pounds, this marvelous twelfth century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is just try to keep the powder dry. I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. <laughs> sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? And so we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Frank. Katie. <laughs> What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three so beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. of a red there. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would, please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece. The sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Farr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. That is a charity maybe I would have reconsidered. What did we say about that, Katie? And so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Whoa. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four for the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Thank the sale you, price on the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have for the lady. <sighs> Thank you. Stop bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Uh. Eight with you, sir. Your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Price increases on logarithmic. All around the room. Nine million to you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, the chance is going to come away with another nine bid. Million. Oh, that's so do I hear nine five? Fair warning. I'm selling. Nine million once. Nine million twice. Sold to the gentleman on my right at nine million times. Thank you very much, sir. Congratulations. 23%. The mold. The wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%. Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. Just like you did when you stopped my bidding. So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? 
I don't know. <laughs> Out of all of the probabilities, how did I end up here? You did well. Stop your mailing like that. I don't know what I got into her. Follow me. She seems to like the rush. You don't say. Okay, the assistant's packing up. You've got to move right now. Wait here. When Simon gives the word, move out into the middle of the corridor and wait for the guard to come to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Simon, use the guard's image. He's not going to believe that. I'll have him. Chance. I'm enjoying playing along. It's just a game. <laughs> Don't judge. Stop right there, sir. This is a restricted area. What do you think you're doing down here? I, I got lost coming out the lift. No, this floor's staff only. Oh, I was uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to. Mental scenes kicking off. Mad. I'm fully a criminal now. Enjoying the rush of it. Thing is, at this point, you've done enough to if you get a court, you go into prison anyway, so you might as well get away with it. Got it, we're in. Thanks, mate. I'll take him with you. Simon, I'll come to the front to get you. choices matter. I wonder what would happen if I tried to do stuff differently. I don't even know. Just 
Big old heist. Let me see it. I want to see the bomb. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Wu's place to turn it into money. Too fucking high. You gotta take the left. Some sort of high street. Good old short city restaurant. Sounds classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Nah, shut up. Hey! That's not what we agreed. Not here, just keep him quiet until we get rid of his ball. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Jeez. Fire and get out. Mate. Mei Ling. Mei Ling, can you hear me? Get out. Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. The bowl! Get the bowl! Get the ten... <laughs> nine milli bowl! Yeah, got the bowl. Come on, let's go! What about the others? Oh, they're dead. They're all dead, come on! As if you're not going to go further from that truck, the, the bold worker. We need to get away from here. What you started. Is it Mr. Wu? Yeah, well, that was the plan, wasn't it? What do you want to do, Mei Ling? Do you want to stay here? Mei Ling? Look at me. Look at me. You can't walk aside, okay? You have to do something. I think she's going to be useful in trying to sell this bowl. We've got to go. I really want to know like what decisions we do if you took other decisions. I guess that's the nature of this. Maybe I'll play it again another time and do completely different choices if you guys wanted. It's cool as hell though. Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. We're up. We're here to see someone. Table for four. Four on me, please. It's going well. Excuse me. We uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Far this way. Four on me, please. No, no, no. Mate, mate, mate. We want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? We want to see the manager. You're not even eating. No. Your health inspector? No. Look, it's Mr. Wu. Mr. Wu. Mr. Wu. Yeah. I never heard of Mr. Wu. Well, how about the Queen, mate? You heard of her? 
memory query. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You, wait right here. How are you going to bribe a guy with 10 a quid? Fortune cookie. Yeah, might as well. I just wanted to know what the fortune cookie said. Fortune does not come twice. Misfortune does not come alone. Didn't know any better. I'd say you picked that one on purpose. What does yours say? Uh, love a good fortune cookie. <laughs> Not to them. Follow me, please. Tell me. No. Mr. Wu is going to steal the ball and give them that. Could they while you're gunning your head to my gun? That's him. Go on. Where is the ball? Oh, then maybe they hid it somewhere. What's your business? Oh, that's not smart. You don't bring it with you, they just take it. What are the odds? Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you your ball. My ball? Adam, turn by Joe here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Managing to steal that ball. Quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place. It's nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that ball is not only madness. It is also suicide. To the Troy family, possession of that ball is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. It's price. It's beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! If you know how much they paid, then you know your 20% is a lot higher than you thought it would be. You want us out of here because you don't want to pay what you promised. I did not order its theft. The only order I am giving is to you. Get out of my restaurant! Take the ball. Ah. No. Fuck you. <laughs> you owe us money and you know it. You made a deal for this. Take it. We don't want it. Goodbye. We will not meet again. Fuck you. Come on, Matt. Let's go. Fuck you. Well, got some expensive ass bolt. <laughs> At least I lived. Fucking great. And we are going to leave it there for this episode. Tune back in tomorrow to see how this story continues.